Okay. All right. Close the door. Half-Life Source. All right. These are actually the real retail Half-Life Source maps running. This means everything is in the source format. Um, in the source engine, they change the way the triggers work. So a lot of the stuff like um, those platforms here don't work correctly. You could use them, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see, it's uh, it's a bit messy. So let me go on to C1A0 to show you how it's like. Obviously, we don't support the uh, models quite yet, so... Alright, so this never happens, and the reason for that is in Gold Source, on Quake 1 and Quake 2 and Quake 3, when you trigger something, you only have to give a name of the entity you want to trigger. For Source, they have made this a little bit more complicated. Um, for example, here, this trigger auto is... Um, triggering here on trigger intro room gives monkeys base yeah uh, and with the function open that function open is specific to the uh, class which is presumably the funk doors here we can actually use that here we have an ambient generic and it's probably a uh, target name doors and there's probably a multi manager here that's for changing the level entry mm and yeah you can see there's lots of really complicated triggers so this is the target name this is the function this is the timer and I don't know what minus one means maybe it is unused I'm not entirely sure I haven't done any real concrete research into that yet what the idea is, is that I'm going to handle the triggers internally the same way Source will handle theirs. And I have to basically just add a wrapper for the simpler Gold Source and Quake 1, Quake 2 type target names. Which is easy, because... Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can just control all that. As you can see, the models aren't rendering, the triggers aren't triggering, but hey, the maps work. Um, if there were physics props, I could show those to you too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can show up some oh yeah, level triggers. Those work. Yeah, because they don't rely on other entities, really. Because um, I didn't even bother implementing a trigger... What's that change area? That weird entity that decides what comes with you from one map to another. If you're wondering why the lighting is so bright, that's because uh, they, the Source engine uses overbrighting to actually have a lot more... Um, well, yeah, so you can have textures go white and stuff, and the light map isn't adjusted for it. This is calibrated for uh, gold source type maps and stuff. So don't, don't worry about it. I know it, it's not how this is meant to look. We and yeah, we don't know how the um, funk details, which these are, actually have their collision information stored. From what it seems like, the source engine, when it loads the source BSP, is just making them up on the fly, either at um, load time or during gameplay, which would be quite weird, but not unusual. That's how displacements do their thing. And you see this one doesn't work, because all of the triggers don't work. Uh, what's another fun map? Bootcamp. Bootcamp probably has a 3D skybox and everything. Okay, seems like the skybox doesn't work as on the 2D skybox, but the 3D skybox works. Alright then, 